my friends welcome back for this week's video today i'm gonna show you something that uh, can make uh, most of you uh, smile or not <laughs> even uh, what i do i have on my desk my Nuex Mighty Air, consider that this video is valid also for Nuex Mighty Plug, Mighty Plug Pro, so uh, just keep it simple, you can use any Nuex Mighty device that is working with Mighty Ramp Up provided by Tuntori. And together with it, I have a Bluetooth gamepad. This is a human interface device that is connected to my presently connected. You see it's already connected. I'm not showing you how to pair it. I don't know what device you will have. And of course, in the manual, it is clear how to connect it to your smartphone device. Uh, I'm, I'm been using uh, a, an Android device, an Android smartphone, because my tier amp is only working on it. But in a moment, I will show you how to control our new X Mighty device using our smartphone just after the intro. And welcome back. As, uh, as I said, the gamepad is already connected to my smartphone. Now I'm going to show you, you should see on the left hand side of the screen, uh, the screen on my smartphone, on my faithful Android smartphone. I'm opening the Mightier Amp app. Uh, you may remember this, uh, please, I'm not uh, showing you every single detail because I've already created a video that is uh, Guitar 4, you will find it in my channel, I will leave uh, the link uh, on top here, uh, where I show you how to control the new X Mighty devices using uh, a Bluetooth pedal, that is the M-Wave Chocolate pedal, through the Mightier Amp app, as we do here. But now I will show you an extension on that, how we can use even a gamepad for, to, for obtaining the same result. So I'm uh, when the app shows up, you will see the editor tab, the five, uh, the five tabs are below on the, on the bottom. Press setting tab. Just make sure that your device, uh, new X Mighty device, is connected. So now it is not. So I'm connecting it. Uh -huh. He's not happy to connect. Uh, what is happening? Okay, let's try turning it off and, uh, and back on. Sometimes it can happen. So just make patient. Technical difficulties. When playing uh, live, this is a high possible risk. Hmm. How come it does not connect? Let's kill all the apps. This way, maybe we are. It's easier. Sorry for all. Oh, now it's connecting very well. Okay, now we are connecting. You see, please look from the camera that uh, if I switch uh, the program uh, in the app, uh, it is happening also onto the device. Uh, the color, the light uh, is changing. Our uh, gamepad is connecting. What I'm gonna do? You may remember from uh, Guitar 4 video that uh, we mapped uh, the buttons of the M-Wave chocolate pedal onto the, some commands uh, in the app. That's what we are doing here. By the way, you should notice that here on the bottom that the app version is 0.9.8. The previous video was done using the, the version 0.9.6. This is the new version provided by Tuntori that has a lot of improvement, really a lot. <laughs> I will try and give you updates uh, on my video uh, about the new functionalities introduced by him, but really this, uh, this guy is a, is a volcano and he always throws us uh, additional functionalities. If I click on remote control, this uh, section, uh, you may remember that using the, the way per chocolate, uh, we were scanning for it. Now it's not required. Let's look at the first uh, voice, uh, something that I told you to ignore during the last video. That is HID input, means human interface device input. The gamepad is a human interface device, so maybe we can map it here. Let's try. So push on it. And now we have the new menu. You may remember that uh, we had only three voices before. That was channel hotkeys, effort hotkeys, and parameter hotkeys. 
In the new version of the app, we also have a drums hotkeys and jam tracks hotkeys. So, what I'm gonna do? Let's show you. Click, okay, maybe I'm clicking on channel hotkeys and associating previous channel to the left arrow. You see, if I press right or down, it takes the other value. I press left, arrow left to next channel. I'm, I'm associating arrow right to next channel. This way, moving the, the, the arrows back and forth, I can move to the previous channel to the next channel. Nothing prevents you to associate one of the buttons to the, to the channels, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3. This is just a suggestion. It's like mapping the gamepad for your game. So, go back. Effect of keys. Toggle noise gate, for example. I would use uh, button A. Why not? That is. Button A is now associated to toggle noise gate. Then, uh, toggle effects, uh, button B. Why not? That's okay. Done. Then, uh, what can I associate to toggle modulation, for example? Can be button X. Then we can have uh, toggle delay, button Y. But, but um, why? Sorry, I'm speaking in Italian sometimes. <laughs> Please go, forgive me. And for toggle reverb, well, an additional button. The left button, the left trigger. This I just pushed uh, this one. So, okay. And then, uh, well, another thing. I would like to, I would like to start or stop the drum. You see now you have the menu drum salt keys. Let's press that. Why not associate the right button on that side to start and stop of the drum? Yeah, why not? That's okay. And then we could also use the arrows up and down. Up and down, you see, to increase or reduce the tempo. Down to reduce the tempo. And I press tempo plus 5 and I associate it to arrow up to add 5 beats per second to the to the tempo very simple now we mapped it so we can return back and back again to our editor page now what we would expect is that pressing back and forth I can change the channel and that is what happened you see that the channel is changing in the app and onto the device itself. So it seems to be working. Then let's have a look at one of the channels. Channel 1, for example. If I press button A, you see that I'm toggling on and off the gate, the, the noise gate. With button B, we associated it to toggle effects, and you see that it, it uh, appears and disappears, turns on and off. The same for modulation. We can make it appear and disappear. And again with the little delay. Reverb, you may remember, was associated to this one. Let's push it and you see, it goes on and off. And then the most funny one. Let's start with the, the right button, the, the tap tempo. You hear it? And with up and down, you may remember, we mapped them for having increase and reduction of the tempo. Highly increased. But let me show you in the smartphone uh, the drums, uh, this one. You see, if I push uh, that again, it is uh, deactivated with the right button. Pressing it again, I, I deactivate it. And with up and down, you see that uh, the tempo bar is uh, going up and down by 5 bit, by, uh, bit per minute every time. So, I know it's not so... It's not, uh, practical like uh, uh, using a pedal because uh, you need a hand to control uh, this gamepad so it's not uh, a fantastic method uh, I told you it was a sort of joke so <laughs> but in any case it's possible so with this app it is possible to map any input device to the control of the app and through the app you control the device so maybe you have a bluetooth keyboard or anything else that you can connect to your smartphone as an input device keyboard a mouse or anything else can be mapped to control mighty ramp and then the new x mighty devices 
there is a huge drawback in this compared to what you have been seeing in my previous video. To have this working, the screen of the smartphone must be open and the Mighty Ramp app must be the, uh, visible, must not be in the background. Otherwise, it is not working. I'm showing it. If I go back, the app is now not visible and you may see that if I press the buttons, what happened? That the gamepad returned to be the human interface device, so it's working to move through the apps is not uh, showing uh, giving us uh, the expected outcome if i use it to select the game mighty ramp then i can return to that functionality so it is controlling the app that is visible at the moment if mighty ramp is in the background this is not working the same if the screen is off instead you may remember that using the pedal mapped directly in the app you could uh, put the, the app in the background close the screen and everything was working as expected so this is just an addition it's a possibility as i told you is a sort uh, I, I was playing with you with this possibility but it is interesting to see how powerful this app can be for giving us uh, really a lot of freedom and if we find it practical why not use also this possibility so i hope you found this uh, funny and uh, and interesting uh, i'm renewing you the meeting uh, for next time so please if you have additional question you want to ask me something in particular you are curious about some topics related to to what i've been showing you in the channel please let me know in the comments uh, otherwise bye bye and see you next time ciao